strong here in Fresno to see one of the best in the world in the flesh, Mikey Garcia, 40 and one. That one loss coming to Errol Spence Jr. Of course, he's got 30 knockouts. He's 33 years old at the end of his prime, perhaps looking at that age. Sander Martin says he's never felt better, best camp of his life. And he is uber confident that he can shock the boxing world tonight. And here we go, 145 pound catch weight fight. Mikey Garcia in the black, Sandor Martin in the white. Martin the southpaw with the red gloves and Mikey Garcia does excellent against southpaws. He fell short with Errol Spence because that was the size and a little bit too big. But we saw what he did with Dejan Lechichinen and of course Juan Manuel Lopez. Sander Martin entering this fight on a nine fight winning streak. Said he's gonna take Mikey Garcia to school. And for whatever it's worth, Martin has been a little more active than Garcia. He fought once this year, probably his best win to date against Kay Prosper, picking up that win back in April. And Martin is all over the place reacting to every feint that Garcia gives him. Jittery, yeah, and that's the reason I say it's hard. It's going to be hard for him to keep the fight in the middle of the ring because he's going to have to fight Mikey Garcia. Is that nerves, Sergio? No, it's not nerves because, like you said, he's very confident. It's just kind of twitchy defense. Chris mentioned Mikey Garcia's lack of activity. He's fought just seven times since January 2014. And this is his first fight in 20 months. Yeah, a little bit different circumstances this time around. Ooh, nice shot there on the inside from Sander Martin. Caught Garcia coming in. Oh, that was Mikey coming in first. He landed that straight, I believe it was a right hand, to the jaw. Good counter by Martin, but he got clipped in the jaw first. And there it is, there's that one two that he throws. Martin stuck in the corner, tries to slide out to his right. A little less movement from, from Martin now. He wants to actually stand his ground, get some respect. No jabs from Martin so far, because Mikey is lethal with those combinations. There's a good one, too. That's probably the, the best punch from Sandro Martin. He's an excellent body puncher, but the one, two from the left-handed stance is what he's best at. And going downstairs is Martin. Sharp punching right there by Sandro Martin. Mikey Garcia got it. The lights turned off on him. <laughs> the lights turned off without getting knocked yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to make that play on words, but I couldn't, <laughs> I got it. couldn't quite get it right. Martin hasn't lost since Anthony Gajit beat him in September of 2017. Nine straight wins. Well, that was a firefight with uh, Anthony Gajit. I, I really enjoyed watching that fight. It showed that uh, Martin can nice shot on the inside from Garcia as he starts to let his hands go. But Martin caught him coming in again. That was a good right hook by Sando Martin. Caught Mikey coming in right there nicely. And this is what we're talking about, Chris. Ma Sando Martin's not a power puncher, but he is a crisp puncher. You gotta respect his pop. You can hear the sound of those when they're landing on Garcia's body. And here's that check right hook that we've seen Sando Martin land. Really clean, backed up clean right there and got out of the way. Pivoting away from Mikey Garcia, clean shot. This crowd still waiting to get energized behind a big Mikey Garcia punch. And we gotta remember, Sandor Martin's a natural bigger fighter here, so he might be able to take a little bit more from what Garcia normally hurts his opponents with. Jessica McCaskill is with us. What have you made of Sander Martin so far? I feel like Martin has eliminated Mikey's jab. We know that Mikey needs to throw that jab first in order to set up those good combinations. And we talk about a righty and a lefty fighting and they have that front foot battle. These guys are having the front hand battle that those jab hands are parrying each other and they're not actually getting over to a score. Martin has a good rhythm. 
You know, he has a good rhythm of, of, of coming out with a jab. See all that? Those punches are, are, are missing by Garcia. He's not loading up on anything, but they're missing. But then Martin comes back with a nice jab. Just like that right there. And Martin has managed to take this crowd completely out of the fight. Haven't heard a big roar yet. And we're in round five. And these rounds are going fast. And, you know, Mikey Garcia, like, like we like to say, he, he likes to take his time to figure out his opponent. But right now we're halfway through in a 10-round yeah. fight. Good left hand for Mikey Garcia there. And it's set up by a, a left hand to the body that caught Martin pulling out which is what I noticed when I was watching Martin. He pulls out with his head up in the air. And that's part of his kickboxing background. It's very difficult to make that transition from kickboxing to boxing, or MMA to boxing for that matter, especially when it comes to footwork, as Garcia's trying to rough Martin up in the corner. Now he caught his attention early in this exchange with two right hands. Now he's got him exactly where he wants him to be. Well, is Martin taking Garcia to school as he promised us he would do? He's surprising me, so maybe not to school, but he's holding his own and he's definitely in this fight. Look at that. See oh, that? Nice that? flurry there from Martin. It takes confidence. He countered the counter puncher right there, so he knew exactly, he, he was ready to pounce on Mikey Garcia right there. That shows that he is confident. He's throwing the right shots, Martin is, and he's throwing him some good pop. There's a the right hook again. Good work out of the corner and off the ropes for Sandor Martin, who may have won another round. Round seven scheduled for 10. This fight has moved relatively fast, like you were saying, Sergio. And look at the slickness from Martin. I'm impressed, guys. I'm telling you, to have a... Uh, a fighter like Mike, Mikey Garcia, four division world champion, a guy that's been in there with some of the best fighters oh, in the and world. Oh, a nice straight left hand from, and we've got to ask this question now, Chris. Earlier I said, what's next for Mikey Garcia if he wins this fight? What's next for him if he loses this fight? Probably a rematch. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I mean, I don't recall Martin, Martin rather being buzzed at all, really being rocked with a shot. And he's pot shotting right now. He's, he's landing some good shots on Mikey Garcia. Garcia's a little leery just coming in now. He's respecting the, the pop of uh, Martin. Just like that. And that immediately sit Garcia down, or maybe they tripped feet, but Garcia stumbled backwards. He stumbled, but he also got a punch landed on. Yeah. He is perplexed at Sandor Martin, as we all are. No one, and I mean no one, expected him to do this. A big left hand for the Spaniard scores again. Stop. Break. Stop. Amazing performance by Sandor Martin as we head to the ninth round. And here's what we are used to seeing with Southpaws. There's that one, two, and then they tripped over the foot. But still, it was a punch that landed for Martin right there. And there's that shot right there. Straight left hand by Sandor Martin. Those are easy shots for the judges to see. And he might be ahead in this fight. Martin was a 10 to 1 underdog. And now, finally, Garcia scores with the right hand. And Martin says, I'll stand and trade with you for a minute. He doesn't want to do that, though, does he, Sergio? No, actually, I, li I like the fact that he's doing that. Just don't get too much because you got the respect of Mikey Garcia boxing. Now you got to get the respect of him fighting. But then get back on the bike just like that. Cracked him again. Chris, you said if he loses, we might see a rematch. What would be different if they fought again? Hard to say. I mean, you can look at Mikey Garcia and say there's ring rust going on here. Lands a punch there. Maybe he didn't take Martin all that seriously. Lots can change if it goes Sandor Martin's way. Yeah, let's not put the cart before the horse, as they say. Not a lot of concern, it seems, in the corner of Mikey Garcia. All right, guys, then check it out. This is the 10th and final round. And not a lot of concern in the corner of Sandor Martin. One more round, and you made history, they told him. So here we go, three minutes left in this fight. 
as Sander Martin seemingly is beating one of the best fighters of his generation and beating him rather convincingly. Although Garcia did have a pretty solid round nine, let's see what happens here. Telling Mikey Garcia, you're not hurting me. 30 seconds to go. No real desperation, Sergio, at all these last couple there of rounds. There is not, and it seems like Sando Martin caught. wants to close the show. Still punching back with that right hook, Martin. What a night for Sandor Martin. Has he just beaten Mikey Garcia? Viva España. I think he just might have pulled it off, guys. What a performance by Sandor Martin. He told us what he was going to do. He executed with perfection. After 10 rounds of action here in Fresno, we go to the judges' score totals. You guys up? Zachary Young, 95, 95 even. Fernando Villarreal and Carla Caiz both scored about 97 to 93 for your winner by majority decision. El Orgullo de Barcelona, Catalonia, España.